everyone, Chris here, the RC Geek, uh, out at the field, and I've got the Draco here, and uh, I wanted to try some things with it. Now, I noticed that when the airplane was flying slow, it would tend to wallow and roll a little bit. Uh, not necessarily a bad thing, because that's your indication of stall, uh, but I was curious if maybe I could get uh, the airplane just a touch slower with some aerodynamic treatments. Uh, so, you know, you've got the slatted section here, uh, and then this outboard section, doesn't have any slat or anything to it. And so my hypothesis was that uh, potentially what's happening is we're getting laminar separation. And so, you know, the thing with laminar flow, it doesn't have a lot of energy in it. Uh, and so it's prone to separation. So if I could intentionally turbulate the flow, uh, transition it from laminar to turbulent, uh, that will actually help uh, the airflows remain attached longer uh, because, you know, turbulent flow has more energy in it and is less prone to that separation. Uh, and so I've got some zigzag tape out here. They use this on sailplanes and full-scale airplanes. Uh, and so what that does is it intentionally transitions or trips the flow from laminar to turbulent. Uh, and so having flown the airplane, you know, my, my primary comment is you can only get so close to zero airspeed uh, and so while I do think that it, this is actually helping a touch, it does tend to get into the nose up attitude a little bit better and remain a little bit more stable there. Uh, the drawback is that the stall seems to be a bit more abrupt. But that being said, it just does a wings level stall and, and the nose will drop on you. Uh, but uh, let's give you guys a flight and you kind of judge for yourself. I'll do a bunch of slow flight stuff. It's a fun thing to try. It's not necessary. The airplane flies great without it and it's plenty slow, but I don't know. I just felt like tinkering. So anyways, let's give you guys a flight and then we'll uh, come back and we'll wrap this up.
All right, so we've got the flight. I do feel that this does help keep the airplane stable a little bit longer, uh, but you know, we're really splitting hairs out here. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention, I forgot to mention at the beginning, but I did uh, push the CG back also, and that does help. Uh, I've got the foam tires here, not the Dubro tires, because those are heavy. Uh, and then the, the battery is not quite as far back as it'll go, uh, but it's about maybe halfway. Uh, and so that pushes the CG back as well. And so that's helping get that nose up uh, also. So that's it for this video, guys. You guys can be the judge whether or not this is helping. I do think it's helping a bit, but it does change uh, the salt characteristics a little bit. Uh, but yeah, fun to try. And, and uh, you know, the Draco is a great stole machine as it is. Uh, and so just trying to see if there was a way to make it that much better. So. All right, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to follow along on social media at The RC Geek. Subscribe, and until next time, I'll see you at the field. Hey, check it out. Gozer's Gym. Get puffed, stay puffed. Oh, it's Southern California. Sun's out, gun's out. What you gonna do? At least you tried. <laughs> Who is that? Do you even know who that is? It's Hulk Hogan, man. That's right, brother. What you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs>